Hey there, today I will share packing tips and tricks for men who travel with a carry-on suitcase. You will see the organized packing method of my husband who is a pilot for his shoes and for a travel wardrobe. My husband packs for a three to five day trip in his carry-on suitcase so that he can get through security and not have to check a bag. Some of you are businessmen who commute and need to pack dress pants. This is not going to include those, but you can choose the packing tips and methods that you like that fit your personality and your vacation or work destination. The first packing tip for men is to build a wall on each side of your suitcase. That wall is going to be protection and it is going to be organization for your contents inside that suitcase. We are going to stack items up each wall. He uses this suitcase because it was designed by a pilot. It is very expensive, but in the bottom of the suitcase is an area for his toiletries. And then right above his toiletries, you will see this little strap that Velcros very securely to two of the walls of his suitcase. So that strap kind of bears the weight of the inside contents so that it doesn't smush his toiletries case. But if that is a concern for you, just do what I do and just put it near the handle so it'll be at the top of the suitcase. And I bet some of you can make your own strap if you have strong enough Velcro. Okay, so for one side of the walls of his suitcase, he's going to pack his boxers and his workout gear. For his underwear, he just folds it lengthwise and then just places it along the side and we build up. Now I have to plug Tommy John. This is not sponsored by them. They are the most comfortable pair of boxers he's ever had. He says there is no adjusting that has to happen. And because I am a sister of two brothers, I can also plug these swimsuits that have boxers on the inside, not the mesh stuff. And these boxers are the slicky material. They're very comfortable, he says, and they do not ride up and no adjusting. Now for his workout shorts, he cinches them together lengthwise, like kind of just scrunches them up and just lays them on one of the layers up the wall of one of his suitcase sides. He does ball up his socks and just stacks them there. You want to travel with thin material because it saves so much space. All right, on another wall, a second tip that he uses is the folding shirts. He folds his workout shirts, his white shirts, and his regular t-shirts in the same method. He lays them out and then folds one of the lengths in lengthwise and then does the same with the other side folds it into the middle and then he folds it in half down and presses that folding method smooths out the shirts or shorts whatever you're folding and in the cavern between the two handles of your suitcase where they go down there is a cavern if you press like for my suitcase i can fit a slimline packing cube with undies and socks in that cavern i can fit a couple of pairs of flip-flops because they're so flat they can fit in that cavernous space right there for his packing method he packs his white shirts there. And here's the packing method he uses for white shirts. You're going to love this. He folds it normally, lengthwise, lengthwise, down and down. And he packs them collar up. So the neck of your collar is facing up towards the top of the suitcase. Then when he has worn that shirt and he has to pack his suitcase every night because he's a pilot, he folds it down or he folds it the same way and then faces that neck part of the collar down. Then when he opens his suitcase at the next destination, he knows which white shirt is clean and which one has already been worn. He packs the amount of shirts that he needs per day and then one more because he might get used another day. So you might wanna pack an extra shirt for an emergency. I do share travel hacks and travel tips on this travel tip channel. And one of the main travel hacks that is good for men is to open your salad dressing away from you or your yogurt bowl, open that up away from you. Otherwise in the air, it will spit on your shirt. And then you'll have to use that extra shirt that you packed. As a pilot, he is going to need some touristy outfit pieces and he is also going to need comfortable shoes. One travel tip I have for you men is to also remember to pack shoes that can get wet. We have two pair of Merrells that he took to Europe. I have a video about what not 
or what men wear in Europe. And there are several shoes that I talk about there that are waterproof suede and still comfortable like a tennis shoe, but they look nice. So don't forget to pack those water resistant shoes. And then his two shoes take up the other walls of the suitcase. And notice that there is space above this one shoe at the top of the suitcase. That means if you're going for a longer trip, you have tons of space still all the way down the length of your suitcase to pack more clothes or one more pair of shoes. We recommend not packing more than two pairs of other shoes other than the ones you wear on the airplane. And he never covers his shoes and I forget to cover my shoes with a shower cap or an empty free newspaper bag 90% of the time that I travel. Then in the middle of the suitcase on top of these white shirts, he will pack his t-shirts and a thin pullover that he takes to any city. Now, if he packs in the winter, he will only pack one pair of jeans and he does not even think about the t-shirts matching as much as I would per se. But in the summer season, he is going to pack neutral shorts. Like we have these slicky shorts that look nice with a polo shirt, but can also look very casual with a regular t-shirt. He usually packs a blue pair of shorts and then shirts that will match or blend with blue shorts in the summer season. Why do we call it a pair of shorts if it's only one thing? Now to save space, these slicky shorts or slicky pants are a great space saver because they look casual or they can look dressy. Most suitcases come with a pouch nowadays. I have a travel roll up cord organizer. Some of the men I know just throw their cords in the mesh packet or the mesh pocket of their outer flap. My husband uses an old squishy first class amenities kit to hold his cords. He likes to keep those electronics cords in one place. I like packing accessories in pouches because if you have your clothes in the suitcase, you can smush and squish your items in order to find a place or a space for one more pouch or a little corner of space right here. You can fit a pouch into that. In his suitcase pouch, he packs loose change, usually from different countries, earplugs, an extra pen, things like that. Do not forget to use this outer pocket to pack things in. He packs an extra work shirt in case his one gets a stain on it from salad dressing maybe. In the mesh section of my suitcase, I can fit a pair of shoes, a hardback book, and a few other things. I do have a video called Six New Packing Methods if you want to see other packing methods that I use. Thank you for visiting my travel tip channel. I hope our packing tips and tricks will help you pack more smoothly and more efficiently next time. Have a great time whenever you get to travel next.